What are you staring at? You think I killed him? I found him like this. Just now. You wait here, comrade. I'll go and telephone for an ambulance. here. An accident? No, I don't think so. There's no sign of any injury. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. What happened to him? I don't know. They found him lying in one of the parks unconscious. the morgue. Dead? I'm dead? Can't be. I'm alive. And you tell I'm alive? I've got to make them see. You! Listen to me. Look at me. Can't you hear me? Maybe it's a nightmare. If I try, I wake up. And I, I've got to move. Get a finger. I, I can't. I, I can't. I must. Don't leave me like this. Help me. Help me. All he was carrying is his passport and a little loose change. He was an American. What's his name? 
Gregory Moore, born in Springfield, Illinois, the 6th of December, 1935, is issued in America. His address? No, I don't find it listed. It's somewhere. It's on the permit we issued. By Vodichkova Street. He was a journalist. And what do I put as cause of death? Cardiac arrest will do. Said dead on arrival, and you ought to print to make it more legible, too. What's this, a new regulation? A simple precaution, so the American press can't accuse us. I said, call the morgue. But I'm alive! You can't do this! Shorts. Undershirt. Socks. Shirt that can be drip dried. Pair of new slacks. Wrist watch. And a pair of high tops. Real cordovan. Not too small for me, either. Should I leave them out or no? You say so. Now, nah, list them. I don't want to lose my job for a pair of shoes. Strange. He doesn't feel as cold as the others. The medics might have closed your eyes at least. Uh, too late now. Uh, in you go. seem to have more work. Sure have. But the pay is the same. What's happened to me? Only my brain can still function. I have to remember. Let's see. I'm Greg. Gregory Moore. That I know. But what else? Association, which was uncovered last week, was not an organized political movement. That has been about officially. They espouse no political issue. They were followed because they held an occasional meeting to discuss the conditions in the country. End paragraph. Jack, give him his hat. One of the party officials said those arrested last night were charged with publicly inventing governmental errors that led to failures and open exploitation on an international scale. New paragraph. No one arrested yet has been declared a prisoner. All are confined to a special mental asylum created supposedly for drastic treatment in a hopeless case. Nothing specifically limits the treatment. Add the byline. <laughs> Back to Eugene Rummy. To a late defector. You'll defect if you don't cut off your intake of vodka. Oh, I'll follow. Sure, I'll follow, but not till they carry you out. They'll find you flat in your ass. And too many women. It drains your energy. Well, it's a marvelous way to go. Oh, I'm quitting early tonight. I've got a date with Mira. A quicker way as any. Here's a flash that looks worth sending. An AP stringer says that in Siberia, a new type of missile with a nuclear warhead was tested. Yeah. Are you spiking it? I'll move it tomorrow. If the Russians confirm it. Well, might be a story. Let me have the telex when you're finished. So long. Drop to the race, sir. Huh? Covering the press conference at the Presidium Hall tonight? No, but if you want company, Jack will go with you. So she la femme. Sorry, Jessica, I forgot about you.
Mira. I love you. You've been following my lessons, or did you get another tip? <laughs> yeah, a new one every day. Uh, I forgot. Here. For me? With love. together again, I'm afraid. Afraid you might leave suddenly. What a thing to say. Why would I leave all of a sudden, when all I've waited for is to be with you for days and days? I don't know. But I always have this uneasy feeling when we meet that it's only for a moment or two. As if someone or something must come between us. Maybe. You know, sometimes when I try to think what my life will be a year or ten years from now, it's like, well, as if I were walking between two high walls. They won't let me imagine anything or hope for anything. That's when I feel I have to get away and come here to you. Because you make me feel there's nothing to fear. Almost all the way. All the way. <laughs> but finally he left me alone when he realized I meant it. Madame. Was... Monsieur. He was amazing. Excuse me. May I? It's a specialty served only in our restaurant. <laughs> Is it safe? <laughs> Don't worry. In emergencies, I'm able to extinguish it. <laughs> be sad to leave Prague. Why, yes, in a way. In spite of the oppression of the party, the average man manages to survive it and keeps individualism alive. And we found each other here. What's the time? It's 4.30. We're out of cigarettes. Your kiss tastes of apple. <laughs> Your present looks nicer. Yes, they are beautiful. The species has one peculiar trait, though. They haven't any instinct at all to fly. In spite of their brilliant wings, they only know how to play on the ground. We have lots of them, you know. You're adorable. <laughs> mm. When is it you're going? I don't know. In less than a month, for sure. To Berlin? No, London. Means I go to a foreign country. Mm-hmm. But can you smuggle me out of this one? Uh, don't worry about crossing the frontier. I've already crossed a palm. Walensky, mm -hmm. he's pulling some strings. Some way, you're coming. I'm moving you out of this place. I paid the price. Kind sir, I'm unable to repay the cost. <sighs> but if you will allow me, I'll express my thanks in a manner more pleasant for us. All, All right. right. That's Jack. Ah. Greg. Hmm. Is all this for you really a very simple thing? No. But you're worth all the trouble.
Hey, you there. Can you hear me? Is it like this for you, too? Maybe it's always like this when you're dead. And we can't go back to tell the others. No. I mustn't give up. into journalism instead of the police, I would have had beautiful colleagues to work with. The commissar has his police women. <laughs> that is true, but they're not quite so pretty. You know, my vocation is for banking. It's a great game. And our good comrade Schoenbart can put you into it if you like. <laughs> oh, no, thanks. After all, he just plays with state money. I'd bankrupt it. I'm sure these people are statues. But where are they cast? <laughs> The exhibition includes some of the greatest personalities of Middle Europe. Politicians, oh, bankers, bankers, queers, black marketeers. Interested? No, thank you. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. He looks familiar. Who is he? Franz Tibber, the famous pianist. Ah. Good evening, Commissar. Good to see you. This is Miris Pobeda. Never have believed you were a compatriot. I must say, Max would have been most surprised. Naturally, you are aware that Gregory is about to leave us. I want to take Mira with me to London. I hope that your department won't keep us waiting. <laughs> I say that reporting for a woman surely presents some problems for the men who like her job. We're not disliked. The principal reason is that we can open doors which aren't open to male reporters. Don't worry. Mine will be open at all times. But <laughs> banks are such crowded places. At the Ministry of the Interior, I can give exclusive interviews. Wouldn't you like that? Ah, yes, of course. Excuse me for a moment. Now let me introduce you to a few of my other guests. They are all dying to meet you. Professor Carding, oh. Miss Delight Demeter, Dr. Polonsky, who, of course, you know by reputation, and his equally well-known wife, Professor Irina well. Polonskaya. <laughs> this gentleman is her foreman, who's in love with you. Of Professor, course. And of course, you know Gregory. Old friends aren't being noticed anymore. Eva, how are you? I'm fine, Greg. What a surprise to see you. Now, Miss Foboda, if you'd like a drink, we'll... Why didn't you tell me Greg was bringing that little baggage? Oh, Jessica, Greg's the man. I that his woman live on bread alone. You're not funny, Jack. Hmm. Oh, he's been here. My dear Jessica. I have read your report on our economic agreement with the Socialist Republics, and it was very interesting. But if you permit, I would like to request you on one small point. How's your revolution going, Ivan? Did it die at the Sorbonne? Ah, no, it was in Moscow. I was an intern two years in Moscow. I am a specialist in cardiology now. And the same fixations about naked girls? <laughs> <laughs> the heart is big in our country. We are tops. I work at Karting. Mm. Pretty good. I hope success doesn't go to your head, too. Hmm, we'd better not. <laughs> I'd better rescue Mira from the body snatchers. You gotta meet her. I see you at the bar. Greg, hmm? may I introduce you to another spectacular day? Come and say hello to Mira. Oh, no, no, right now my brain won't act naturally. Just like her. Not that she's missing any of her essentials. Right here, there's a rock. 
which records her physical impression. She loves to be bedded down with communist guys. The cowboys who work on her ranch are going to learn all about the thrills behind the iron bed curtain, aren't they, honey? <coughs> on the ranch, that's what turns me on. He's so sweet and trusting. What a delightful Our child. Our young don't people you think? are beautiful today. Oh, please. Make love with me. Right now. Let's go back inside. Just as a matter of record, I wanted to see what a fool you are. Wake up, lover boy. Get out of the sock now. Come on, get rid of your sex surges the same way I get rid of the alcohol. Comrade Bashkov seems to have had a major fall. Thirty meters. That's a hundred feet to you. He flattened some innocent passerby in Verov Street. Well, it'll make it snoppy. the air minister, he's just Bashkov a grocer. And a cook called a grocer, besides. <laughs> and even chickens in the frying pan are called political suicides here. What a place. Uh, and the staff photographers? <laughs> they folded up and went back in the night. They told me to wait and to fill you in on it. Hey, I'm sure we met. I just can't remember where. But she can speak. Oh, you guys are so fabulous. Why don't we all go down for a drink at my place? No, not tonight. I'm finished. And how about you? Leave him alone. He's got better oh. things to do. Go ahead. Back to Mira. Oh, he's really groovy, that cute friend of yours. <laughs> Wait, Miss, where's the telephone, please? I'll be back in a minute. Ah, Miss Natasha. So early to market? Oh, Mr. Moore, I'll be late to meet, not early. <laughs> oh, I'll pay tomorrow, huh? Oh, yes. Any time.
Diva. Oh, thank God. My old friend at the Sorbonne. It's a pity. Do you suspect anything specific? All that happened, as far as I can make out, Doctor, was cardiac arrest. <sighs> Strange, there is no rigidity yet. How long would you say he's been dead? Well, he was already dead when they brought him. A good three hours, Doctor. Ivan, you've got to help me. All the same, I want to try something, Doctor. We might reanimate him. If you believe it, comrade, then prove it. But I'm going Move straight him home upstairs. Mm. Nurse. Yes, Doctor. Come on, Jan. Give me a hand. Nothing. Not in that one. They said there's no record of their treating the young girl. Then what could have happened to her, Jessica? It can't be very serious. Just remember, we called all the hospitals, all the police stations, so I... You're lucky. She's not in a morgue with a broken neck. I'd better have a drink, though. That was an experience that almost finished me. It's strange that she left no message for you. Why would she just walk out like that? She didn't just walk out, she was taken out. Someone forced her to leave. So she left with him. But at the same time, she could have wanted to go. Maybe she didn't intend to stay with you all of the time. And what if she was only pretending with you? Jessica, don't talk nonsense. You didn't know her even. And you? What do you know about her? We do not know anything, Gregory. Jessica's right. So what? For more than two hours, we've been making one guess after another without finding any reason why she disappeared. I agree, it's weird. The way she just disappeared like that. And yet I've known it to happen that someone suddenly decides to move out. They leave. There's no warning. And no arguing. They leave with no clothes on? Look at this. She left her dresses, her shoes, everything she brought. And these, bra, handbag, jewelry. That is not sufficient proof. When you say the girl was wearing nothing when she left, in fact, you mean she left this house without this underwear. Or these. Unless you are able to swear that you know the exact contents of the wardrobe brought by Miss Svoboda. Well, I believe so. Believe. And you say you left to cover a news story last night. All the same, nothing occurred of any importance last night. It was a false report. Now I see it was to get me out of the way. Hey, why wouldn't that be a lead? Hmm. How were you notified? The source was official? An informer called. They never are identified, though without them, coverage in our business would be pretty poor. Now, Miss Sarah, let me work on this case with you. Mr. Moore, we prefer to avoid all complications with foreign journalists in our work. Don't interfere. The police will do the utmost within their power. Is that so? Now, let me say this to you. They'd better because I'll write a story and blast every last one of you for murder. Why did you say murder? Oh, I don't know. Sorry. As a reporter, I'm used to saying it. Paris. Prepare the forms for the investigation. At once, Commissar. Yeah? Okay, it's me. Whose body? She was found naked. We'll come now. The river embankment.
wait here. Board and press. Take some pictures. Okay. We're wasting so much time. But if we could only find one person who knew her, or who knows that she's alive, Another lover? No, a lover is not what I meant. Did she meet anyone through you? Uh, no, not while she was with me. Because we were always alone. She went to Valinsky's. I forgot that. And several of Valinsky's friends met her there. One of them might have the answer. We ought to question everyone. It would be a help to establish just how many she talked to. We'll start with carting. You can make a list of everybody who talked to her. Uh, is that all? Good afternoon. Professor Cardian is expecting us. I'll tell him you're here, sir. Gentlemen, now let's try it. Hi, it reacts. It feels pain. Human beings separate all matter into classes. The world isn't made that way. Everything alive has its centers, its own vitality. There's nothing wonderful about this tomato feeling just as sensitive to pain as we do. I think that could make a good story. Mm -hmm. Cutting a flower is a criminal act, it seems. It's not criminal, Ivan. There are both good and evil in crime. They're not separate. <laughs> Don't be sentimental. Go on, eat it. After all, you can't hear it crying. Excuse me, Professor. The two journalists are here to see you. So they mean. Yes, I love modern expressionists. And I feared I had to break a few laws to get these paintings into my possession. Ah, my favorite journalist. In what way can I be of help? We're trying to trace Miss Svoboda, Mita Svoboda. Somehow or other, she's disappeared and no one can explain it. It's incredible. Oh, that most attractive girl with you at Belinsky's reception. We hope there's a chance that one of the persons who spoke to her might lead us to her. The police tell us not to worry about it. They'll investigate. I'm sure they're reliable, You were the first she met last night, and I saw her talk with you. Could you please tell me what she said? Let me think a moment. We talked about music, yes. Tibor's great success in Berlin and Moscow, principally. She told me she planned to move from here and live in Moscow. Really? You didn't know about that. Live in Moscow? It's odd she wouldn't tell me that, too. But besides, she went without her documents. If I were you, I would not worry. She will be all right, I'm sure. I hope that you're right. I'd hate to think that there was anything wrong. A 
Any reaction? No, nothing. Don't give up, Ivan. Don't give up. Hmm. Let's put him on the spearman. But he's been dead for too long. I don't think there's anything more we can do for him. Don't listen to him, Ivan. You've got to save me. No. His temperature hasn't gone down far enough. There must be a reason. Let's bring in carting. Yes, sir. Yes, hurry. Carding will understand. Meanwhile, I have to keep remembering. It's the only way I can tell I'm alive. What'd they tell Jack? Nothing. No one can remember. It's as if she never existed. Well, is there anything new? This. You begin to act dangerously, being foreigners. My advice was to wait and not interfere at all. As an accredited reporter in this case, Commissar, I must protest. Your interference is going too far. And what's this method that you use? Are you suggesting that others should report every last thing they said when they talked to this mirror's bobada? That's how to do it, Commissar, as you ought to know. we want to help you. Let's cooperate. What do you expect for girls disappear in a city like this all the year round? It is I whose duty it is to talk to the suspects and to interrogate, and not you. Don't forget again. They'll reprimand you, scare everybody away, and they'll write in your record that you've been a fool. You do as I tell you, or you shall call on your knees in front of someone a little bit higher than what you call a bureaucratic underling. Because I might tell you, others have been equally surprised their press immunity to police arrest is suspended. Think it over. You were wrong to challenge Kirchhoff. Now he'll hinder instead of helping us. I'm not afraid, but you heard. He said in this city girls disappear all the year round, so I want you to check on it. You keep interviewing the others we listed. I'm counting on you. All right, but it'll help matters to keep cool. Where to, lady? Kiliana 32. the last two years of Rudy Pravo from your file. Here, I guess you prefer dollars. Your guess is right. I need information. It's paid for. Girls who've disappeared. I like criminal stories. All of them are memorized, too. I find them here. I don't look in the official archives anymore, though. They don't keep even the half.
Yeah. Hello. I'm a journalist, and I'd like some news on Marika Sequence. Two years ago, she was reported as missing. I don't know anything. Go away. Are you her mother? No, don't ask me anything. And it's all behind us now. Her father and mother said she didn't take her clothes. And nothing was missing. Tell him. Tell him. Why don't you speak? They're all cards. That's what you are. Well, I'll tell... Shut up! <coughs> there is nothing to tell. But was she related to you? Marika was our daughter, and she left us. I don't remember any more, and I won't be reminded either. Get out of here! Hey, you in the red shirt. You know that old man? Yeah. You want to earn this? Yeah, yeah. Then just give him this. All right. good to get away from the office. Although I do think you are making a wild goose chase. You go ahead. I'll be watching the dogs. What are you doing in this house? My name is Moore. Did you know Irina Dupchek? Yes, once. I'm a journalist. I'm doing a story on young girls who have disappeared. Mm. A story. I can't tell if you're friend or foe. I'm a friend. But it doesn't matter. I can only die once. And death isn't far. I told everything. They can't ask for more. And Irina? Irina has left. They forced her to serve them. But who did she serve? Is she alive or dead? You have followed her in vain, sir. She's no more. Is there anyone you suspect? And who was it she served? She was forced to. All are. All our youth must eventually be sacrificed, preserving those in power. First they ask for the lives of our young soldiers, or a young student that protests that he must die. Impassioned, they fall. Yes, I have suspicions of my own. But I can't fight it anymore. You could. You could fight if you are young. You could still fight. Uh, 
It's too late. I've forsaken the dead. All I can do is try to blot out the past. Everything there is to tell, young man. There is nothing more. I know nothing. Now go. Irina loved music, didn't she? Yes. As most of her friends. A zástupci úřadu. Sjezd byl zahájen v 16 hodin 30 minut. Účastní se ho asi 5000 delegátů ze 36 zemí. Budou projednávány zejména záležitosti týkající se They've been trying to get you from New York. I told them that you were sick, but that you'd be back later. Ah, finally. I was beginning to wonder if we had to start looking for you as well. find out? I'm afraid there isn't much, and I don't know who to ask anymore. The only thing is that someone repeated that story on Moscow. What story? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? It seems that Mira had been talking of going to Moscow. By the way, anything new in those missing girls? I did find out one thing. There's an old fellow who might know a lot. Nothing else? Well, in every case of a missing girl, I found an odd fact. They played chamber music. Oh, you must be kidding. All that peruse is a coincidence, because there are thousands who drink the same liquor as me, or smoke my brand of tobacco. But besides all that, I don't remember Mira playing any music. No, but there are other coincidences. Listen, Greg, we're in a strange place, and what surprises you here could be going on all the time. It strikes some as strange, others as normal. Please try to see it. If you bow to it as much as I do, then you won't have any bugaboos. Try to resign yourself. Take their position, huh? With my stubborn temperament? It's my nature to oppose any resistance as long as force is used and with no explanation that's logical for it. Hmm. You can picture why I'm always in such hot water. Don't chase it, Greg. You're too involved as it is. Mr. Moore, this message came for you. A boy brought it. It's from the old man. He says where I'm supposed to meet him. Don't do it, Greg. I have to go. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? Let me read it. You don't know who it's from, really. There's not even the man's name on it. And you're going to this neighborhood to meet a perfect stranger? He's crazy. Look, Jack, I'm going with you then. No, because it says I've got to go alone. I'll see you both later.
know what's happened. What are you doing here? Well, I had a suspicion you'd end up in hot water. What'd you see? In the dark, I'm not a moat. Oh, I saw you go towards someone, maybe this old fella, and disappear into the smoke, and come running out a moment later like a scared rabbit. Great. Tell that to the police and they'll believe I'm a homicidal maniac. I... What are you off to now? Leave me alone. Don't follow me. I mean it. Great. the oxygen to maximum. The cardiac muscle isn't reacting to stimulus. Yes, but still rigor mortis hasn't set in. It is not rare for a cadaver to retain a certain flexibility after many hours. There's still no sign of natural respiration, Professor. The temperature, however... His temperature hasn't varied. It has stayed around 32 degrees even under refrigeration. Some oxidation process must exist, perhaps at the muscular level. But doctor, think how long his heart's been stopped. It's biologically impossible for him to. We are not engaged in an exact science. The things we do not know are far more numerous than those we do. You're right, Carding. This can't be real death. Respiratory action nil. Cardiac nil, encephalogram flat. There's no indication of any activity at all. Yes, but the scope is registering something. It's above zero. That old man who killed him. Maybe did the same with me. Would you please help a pitiful old woman to cross the street? Thank you. You're very kind. God bless you.
club members. Lord Farner, get out of here! Get out! Get out! Farner! member is here. A westerner. How could you tell? By the shoes he was wearing. He ran from the hall. We must find him. I phoned you that night, so you'd get out. I opened your flat, broke her neck, to counteract the power she had over me. Naturally, I got rid of her body by throwing it in the nearest sewer. And that's not all. I threw in a spare, one I had around the house since Friday. Go ahead, summon the police, and then you can turn me in. Well, I hope that makes it perfectly clear I'm sick of the whole thing. It's a bore, I know it. Everyone knows it. Stop letting the police bug you. Let it drop. Rest for a couple of days. Otherwise, the rest will be from heart failure. Hmm? Maybe you're right. Heart failure. Hmm. I'll file your copy, too. I can piece it together from my stuff. Ah, have you seen Jessica lately? What? Uh, Jessica, no. She has been looking high and low for you. Hmm. Or are you leaving? Yes. I guess I'll go home and get some rest. Take care, Greg. Oh, I wanted to ask you, have you ever heard the music recitals at the Club 99 are a front? For the members, just to conceal that they're chronically bored to death. Everyone in there is a dead head. Old politicians, one or two illustrious actors who play around with other things besides quartets. Porcelain, petit point, chess, provided a porcelain. Why? Nothing. I qualify, all right. Maybe there's an opening. That'll put you to sleep. And just what you need. I can't take it any longer. You referred a minute ago to a club you've reason to fear. What do you mean? Who are you? My name is Pravsky. Koparal Pravsky. Good evening, Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore? But please, have I offended you, Mr. Moore?
How did you get in my apartment? What are you here for? I want to tell you that someone's watching your house. He's down there now. One of their police stooges. They must suspect you, Greg. You should never have questioned anyone. I'm sure Kirchhoff's behind it. It's the murder of Marika's father. I'm sure he'll say that you're the one who caused it. You'd better go back to London. I certainly could use a vacation. I have a permit that'll place you on a priority flight, if you want. I'll come with you. We both want a vacation. Now more than ever. Give me the maximum. Syringe? Don't stop. Don't give up. I'm very sorry. You were friends. I met him years ago when I studied in Paris. Ivan's mm. deserted me too. For them, I'm not one of the living anymore. Well, if you like, I will perform the autopsy. I don't believe it's necessary. I'd like to find out why there was never any sign of rigor mortis in him. You make the arrangements, then. Or perhaps I could perform it tomorrow during my lecture on anatomy. Mm -hmm. Fair to you, Jessica. I really can't understand why you persist in your fixation. And I can't see why you let that girl haunt you. Or why this place should hang you up. And the part that beats me is how the hell you could care for someone like her. What do you mean, like her? Why, you never even knew her. You have no idea what she's like. You have no idea. She cared about you in the pig's eyes, she did. She wasn't able to. Shut up! She belonged to another world, a different kind. It's no use looking in every sewer in town. You're never going to see her again. I know you don't believe a thing I say. She was just a little bitch. <laughs> Miss Ben Passion. Now I shall go before they carry you off to jail. Or worse. My apologies. I know I'm to blame. Yes, they are beautiful. 
The species has one peculiar trait, though. They haven't any instinct at all to fly. In spite of their brilliant wings, they only know how to play on the ground. They don't fly. Don't let them fly. Not a coincidence. I also found what I was looking for. The connection with the girls who disappeared in Mira was a hell of a lot more than music. Listen, look for me. I'm outside here. Yeah, the club, at the corner of the plaza in a phone booth. From where I watch, I've seen a lot tonight. They go in the club, but there's no concert on the program. Why don't we go in and look around and bring that card with you? I'm coming right over. Don't you move. Well, hurry up, chum. That puppet figure. It was a butterfly. Jack? Are you there? Jack, is that you? expect us to believe that. Your comrades and alcoholic are not responsible for what he says, so stop claiming phantoms are trying to get rid of you. And unless you obey, you'll go to prison. <laughs> I know you're a drug addict. We found a tube in your house, and we're having it analyzed now. It contained morphine, didn't it? 
We know that both you and the girl took drugs. Obviously, you injected her with an overdose. Confess, she died because of you. Now, follow carefully my solution. Establish in your confession that it all took place as I say, and you will stand trial, but for accidental death. In that way, I can be lenient. I will find extenuating circumstances, and you can leave the country. The club, the butterflies. I must go back there. I feel cold. I feel cold. I want to look inside. The club. I'm afraid. I can't think. Precisely. I'll refer this case to a mental facility for advanced electroshock therapy. He's only fired. I'll take care of him. With your approval. Gregory, I'll drive you home. It's Balinski. You know me, don't you? I have to get in. We must do it. In your position, I advise you to get some rest. You're tired. I am the director. If you had asked me, I could easily have shown you our club. Call me up tomorrow. I have to see Mira. Faster. I have to go there tonight. Don't get upset. I must take you home now. Don't worry now. You will be all right.
can't consider this case closed. Mrs. Svoboda was killed by her lover, the American journalist, Gregory Moore. And your colleague also killed another one of you. He stabbed to death Jack McPherson in a telephone booth. We found his handkerchief beside the body. We have definite proof that Moore suffered from a persecution mania and recently exhibited frequent states of deep psychic derangement. It was in one of those seizures that he was driven to kill his young fiancée, whose disappearance he reported himself. But he had to kill your colleague because he had found incontrovertible proof of his guilt. Professor Carting thinks the autopsy will reveal... I'm sure you couldn't have been crazy. Not Greg. Not Mira. Mira was a rebel. She refused sex and gold. And everybody here was lured with him. We use them for bait the whole world over. They're important because they suppress the will to resist. She is sleeping now. You? We'll follow her in your turn. Unwanted visitors, the Sabbath room gets rid of them. The oldest persons beat the drum. And the youngest go to battle. We will hold the reins of power in the world as long as there are people willing to be killed. Willing to shed their own blood. And nothing must ever be changed. Our bitterest enemies are persons who love freedom. That is why we always have them removed. We destroy them. 
We must enslave the free to preserve our powers. They must think as we do. And those who rebel must be sacrificed. Talepsi. They will find your body and declare you dead. Your mind will work after it is buried, but by that time it has gone mad. After it is buried. After it is buried. take advantage of this autopsy to demonstrate the errors that could occur in an operation on the heart if it is not performed with the greatest precision. In all operations in the cardiac cavity, the surgeon's technique is of the utmost importance. Therefore, I beg you to observe this lesson with the closest attention. Gloves, please. Now then, first, an incision between fourth and fifth rib is marked. That will be the area of the left mammilla. It is a delicate area requiring special technique. Close the shutters, please. Remember, the merest error or wrong movement could irreparably damage the organ and cause death. Pay close attention. Lights, please. I shall proceed. No! You must poise the scalpel in the intercostal space. Then make a quick and precise thrust. Like this. <laughs> 